Hi everybody, welcome back to June's Craft Room. Today I've had a request showing them how I make the laminated pouches. This one is a, just a laminated pocket pouch. I, didn't, I put my stamps in it. With this one, I made a two pocket pouch. You can see there, yeah, two pocket pouch. And I like making these for when I have um, a stamp and die set. So I know that they're together. I know I'll be able to find them. I'm not going to have to look in two different places. So what do we need for this? We need two sheets of laminate. With the first sheet, we're going to cut it down to the size of the pocket that we want to have. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll keep it at what I've normally done. So my pockets I measure to be eight, approximately eight, and then we come this way, the long side. And I do it at five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Then the second one, we've got enough for another one, so again, five and three quarters. Trim that off. Now what we have is four loose sheets. Just bring them back. So we've got four, two here, two here. We've got the glossy sides and we've got the inside of the laminate, which is the dull side. That's where the glue is. To create a pocket, you turn them inside out. You put the glossy on both sides and you put them to the inside. The glue will now be on the outside. If you want to make one pocket, this is all you would do. If you want to make two, you put these two together. So let's have a look. We take our second laminating sheet. We open it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to place these with the glossy so it won't, these won't stick together these two faces won't stick together but these two will stick to the laminating sheet now if you wanted to do two singles you could put them in you take the same thing here make sure they're turned inside out so the dull side is on the outside and then you could put these in here leaving a little gap Okay, maybe five and a half would be better rather than five and three quarters. Even a little gap. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two together. So I've got four sheets here. And I'm going to place them down here. It's important that you leave enough room at one end to create a little seam. But there's plenty of room there. Next, you're going to fold over your laminate sheet. Now, if you're only making one pocket, don't waste the rest of this. Trim it off, leave a bit of a seam, trim it off. And if you look back at my other videos, you'll see that you can use this. This can still be used. Okay, we'll bring over the laminator now. We're going to pop this through the laminator. Turn it around, it's easier. I'm going to pop this through the laminator. <clears throat> Only takes a minute to go through. Heats the glue up. <clears throat> Everything adheres to the Lamp, last laminating sheet we used. B 
be careful it does get really hot And there we are, it's finished. And you can make as many of these if you need. Now, when it comes out of the laminator, it's all sealed. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to pick one end and we're going to have to just trim just under here. So we take some of it beyond the seam and this is what we need to do to open up the pouches. Once we've done that, we then have our pouches. Now these do become more pliable as you use them. So there's a fist pouch. So once you've been popping this in a few times, you'll, you'll find that it's very easy to use. There's the second pouch. So there's, the, there's one, two. All you need to do then is to just trim this down to size, make sure that you leave a little bit of a seam around where it's joined, otherwise it will come apart and it will be no good to you. So if you do find that you've got just a little bit too close and it's cut it, it's opened it up, just use a bit of clear tape to um, close it up again, don't waste it. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Pop your die in one side pop your stamp in another. Hope you've enjoyed this really easy tutorial that you go off and try it for yourself and have fun getting your stamping die sets organised. Okay, bye for now.